everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and in today's video I have my laundry reveal to show you guys. Over the past couple of months I've been giving my laundry a bit of a makeover, just changing out the decor, making it look a little bit more farmhouse looking rather than French country looking. It seems to have so much more life in there now than it did previously so there's still a couple of little projects I'll probably be doing here and there to finish it off but for now I'm really happy with the way it looks so there's a few things I want to show you when we go in there first of all I've made a laundry table that goes in that room that sits over my washing machine and laundry baskets and it allows me to have a lot more folding space and somewhere to put my laundry detergent and that sort of thing and then I'll show you my laundry reveal all the different things that I've um, incorporated into the new laundry as well as how I've organized the cupboards and decluttered like I've decluttered a lot of stuff and I've just reorganized the cupboards that I've got in the laundry now so it's just looking so good and I'm really really happy with it and I hope you guys are too so I'll leave a couple of links down below on other laundry videos that I've done on my channel over the last few years from decor videos to organization videos clean with me videos decorating my laundry videos anything to do with the laundry I will leave those in a playlist down below for you so you can check those out without further ado let's check out how I've made my laundry table. Okay, so we're going to start with the table top. Now I've measured the space in my laundry and I've had my timber cut to size. So this table top is 1.8 meters long and 60 centimeters wide. And what we're doing here is just creating a frame that's going to sit underneath the table. And this is just going to help to give it a little bit more stability and strength. So the strips of timber that we've had cut to size, we are now going to use some PVA wood glue and we're going to glue those straight to the tabletop right on the edge. And we're going to use some clamps all around the frame to help hold that timber in place and keep it all adhered and straight while it's drying. the glue is drying we're going to screw the frame together in all four corners and once it's screwed together we're going to apply a heap more clamps all around the frame until it's dry and we let this dry for I think about two days so for the legs of the table I'm just explaining here that I've got two of these are they called balustrades balustrades balusters or some they're the things that go up your staircase anyway that's what they are um, I've got two of these for the front so a little bit more decorative at the front and then for the back legs I've just got two plain pieces of square timber because you're not really going to see the back anyway so I'm just getting hubby to cut the legs down to size now using his big power tool saw there. I wasn't going to touch it at this stage, but I have since learned how to use it and it's actually quite fun. Um, <laughs> as long as I've still got all my fingers left at the end of the project. Okay, so it's a couple of days later, all the table has dried, all the glue has dried and it's all looking nice and solid. So now we are going to attach the legs and really guys this is pretty much nearly the end of the project so to attach the legs we're just putting a heap of pva wood glue again just in the corner there to give it an added strength and then we screw it on from both sides of the corner so to finish off my table we are just going to give it a few coats of my homemade chalk paint and if you're interested in knowing how to make your own homemade chalk paint, I will leave a link above here now to another video I've done showing you exactly how to, to make your own chalk paint. It's very, very easy just using some plaster of Paris. So um, yeah, check that video out if you like. And once the paint was dry, I then sealed it with some furniture finishing wax or just regular beeswax. And this just will help to protect the paint. And not only that, when you're buffing it off, it helps to smooth out the finish of your paint as well. 
Okay, without giving too much away before the final reveal, I'm just showing you the finished table in the laundry now before all the decorations go on. And I've just added a couple of brackets to the corners of the table. These were just silver brackets that my husband had lying around in his shed. And I've just spray painted them black and just stuck them on with some uh, E6000 glue just to give it a bit more of a rustic farmhousey vibe. And you can see the legs there. We've got the fancy one at the front and the plain one at the back. So now for the final reveal. So just before we do the final reveal, here's a little peek at what the laundry used to look like, just in case you can't remember or you, this is the first time you're seeing my channel. So here is what it used to look like. And now here is the laundry reveal. <laughs> it's very dramatic <laughs> oh I'm just really happy with the way it looks now so I'll give you a little scan so put this door open yeah I will Okay, so that's a bit of an overview. So I'll show you all the things we've done now. So obviously you saw in the video me making the bench here. That was super, super easy. I'm really loving the way it looks. I just feel like it, it kind of just finishes my laundry off a little bit better, I feel anyway. And it, plus it's given me a heap more space to do folding and, you know, display some decor. <laughs> So yeah, really happy with that. I've got my two little baskets down the bottom here. Those were from, I believe those were from Target actually. My washing machine there. Then on top of, oh, and over this side, I've just put a couple of black hooks and just hung some hand towels off there. Here we have one of my little thrift store fine makeovers. That used to be like a peachy colored ceramic with some floral patterns on it and I've just basically painted it chalk white and just edged around it with a bit of black acrylic paint and just to give it more of like a I guess an enamel look um, yeah <laughs> I've just got some little pegs wooden you know antique style pegs they're not antique they were just from I think I got them from where did I get them from spotlight maybe and I've just stained them with a bit of brown acrylic paint watered down uh, just to give them more of that antique feel and they're just sitting in a bowl from Kmart and then that's just a candle behind there. My wicker basket was from Kmart. That's just what I, you know, put the wet laundry in to hang up. And this little station here is all of my washing and laundry detergent. So the black tray was from Kmart. The big wash glass jar was Kmart. Actually, all of the jars are from Kmart. So in this, I've just got what I actually do with my washing powder. Instead of having a separate soak and a separate wash powder container, I just mix in my regular washing powder with the stain. Let me show you. So this is what I use for my like stain remover and soaker and I just mix one of these in with a packet of the normal washing detergent and just use that in my wash and to soak with and all of that. So it just saves having extra containers around and I'm using it all the time anyway. It's not like I ever do a wash without this soaker. So it just made more sense to just combine them in the one and I just mix it all together. So there's a little tip if you want a bit of space saving. Then I've got my in-wash scent boosters. I've got my jar of vinegar and have a look at this. How weird is this? Does that, does that ever happen to you guys? Like I've got this in a jar and this thing grows at the bottom every time it's sitting in a jar of vinegar. How weird is it? It's almost like a scoby or something. I don't know. It looks like there's a tissue in there, but that actually grows. Yeah, it's a bit weird. And I've got a bottle there of my fabric softener and then just at the back there an air freshener. So that's my little laundry station and it's nice and convenient because it's right below my washing machine. Then we've added these little shelves in. 
Those I just made myself. I just got two pieces of timber from Bunnings, painted them white, distressed them, and just put some brackets, shelf brackets on them. Those shelf brackets are the cheapest ones you can get from Bunnings as well. And I just love the way that looks. I really like it. It just, I feel this laundry has got a lot more life than the previous way I had it decorated. I just absolutely love it. So on the top here, I've just got a little Kmart basket that I've just got some hand uh, towels in. Uh, that little sign I just made up using a printable from Pinterest. I've just got a little glass jar of pegs for decor, some more little hand towels and a little faux plant and glass container. That's all from Kmart. The hand towels from Kmart. Everything's Kmart. That frame from Kmart. <laughs> all Kmart. Then at the top here, I have a little watering can. That was from the reject shop and some pampas grass from Kmart. I have a greenery sprig there was from Kmart. That's my little laundry room sign now displayed. I absolutely love the way that looks. And my big peg, I'm not sure if that was from either Spotlight or the reject shop. I don't remember, but I got it a while ago, so I'm not even sure if it's still there. And then just another basket at the top there. I think that actually contains the magic erasers for the walls and that sort of thing. So it's not something I need to reach for regularly, but yeah, I've just got that up there. Then I have still my chandelier in here and I don't think it quite matches the decor anymore, but I'm just going to leave it there for now until I find one that will actually go with it. I think it needs to have like a black, some sort of black um, lantern-y type shape to it I think but yeah that's fine for now I'm I'm happy with that then on my built-in laundry bench that came with the house we just have a black vase and some greenery both from Kmart and a little wash hand pump so what do you call it soap pump there from Kmart and then this is my little baby <laughs> washing line I think, did I get this from a thrift store or marketplace? Facebook marketplace, one or the other. It used to be white and I've just given it a bit of a makeover, just painted it black, uh, put some tiny pegs on it and hung, hung a few little um, sheets out to dry. I just think that's adorable. Uh, this little frame I gave a makeover to, it used to be like that pine colored. I just painted it white and distressed it and just downloaded one of those from, I think it was from Pinterest or Etsy, I can't remember now. Um, just a little laundry guide there, so that's that. Then on this wall here, I have my prints. These were always there, I'll just move that out of the way. These were always there, but I just had the frames were painted white before, when it was sort of more of a French country feel, but yeah, I just painted them black now. I just found those pictures on Pinterest and printed them off and stuck them in. So my black clothing rack. So like I said, I didn't buy it to make the laundry look good because I don't, I mean, I prefer not to have anything sitting in here, but I just feel this looks a lot better than the gray plastic one that I used to have sitting in here. Plus it takes up a lot less floor space. I think the black plastic one used to pretty much come out to here. So it's a lot narrower and it's just one bar that I can just hang a sheet over or a couple of towels over and they can be drying in here. And then on the back of the door, we just have a over the door hook and I've just got my uh, spray mop and a little dusting brush there. They're, all, they're brand new, I haven't used them yet. I just thought I'd do the, do the nice <laughs> reveal with all the nice clean mops and clean brushes and all that sort of thing. And as for my organization in my laundry, I've really been working on decluttering and getting a better organization system in place. And I'm quite happy with this setup at the moment. All of these tubs I was able to reuse from Jessie's room. So at the bottom here, I have, this one is like our miscellaneous tub. So all the bits and pieces that you need for around the house, like command strips, extra shelving brackets, um, door stops. Uh, what else we've got in here? Hooks and clips and, you know, just all that bits and pieces stuff for your house. 
In this one, we have all the light bulbs. And then this one is all of my vacuum attachments and extra mop pads. And then in this big one at the top here is just extra cleaning cloths and cleaning rags. Most of them are just like old face cloths and stuff. I really like using those to actually clean with. I think they do like a really good job. I prefer those over the microfibers. So that's what I use. Then in these tubs here, in this little basket, I've got all of my Fabulosa and Zaflora disinfectants that I got from Bus Up, and I just really love the way they smell. There's all different fragrances in there. I've got my overflow of Glen 20s here. I keep one in each bathroom or in each toilet, and um, yeah, usually use that to spray over the toilet and sink once I've finished cleaning it. In this basket, I've got all of my Febreze fabric refresh and my air fresheners next to that or the fresh linen air fresheners and then in this basket is the other flavored <laughs> flavored febreze and a vanilla orchid scented air freshener if you guys haven't tried the coles brand of air fresheners before give them a go they're really really good and super super cheap i really like them so i get the fresh linen and i think the other one i've got is a lavender flavored one and then this one is the Vanilla Orchid. They're really, really nice. So give them a go if you haven't. So that's my first cupboard, all organized and neat. I'm really happy with that. And then in this cupboard, which is closer to my washing machine, is all of my laundry overflow. So in, the, in here, I've just got all of my fabric softener stacked up on that side as well as my laundry powder. And they're the only two fragrances I use. I love the Cotton Fresh Fabric Softer and the Coles Tropical Paradise Laundry Powder. And then on this side, I've got my Ultra Stain Remover and then my backups of Ultra um, Soaker, like the Laundry Soaker as well. Then on the bottom shelf here, this basket is all for the floor cleaning. So whether it's for the tile floors or the wooden floors, that's all my floor cleaning stuff. In this section, as you can see, is all of my in-wash scent boosters or my unstoppables. I got get all those from Bussop as well. This one I think I actually got from eBay, but all of those ones were from Bussop. And, and I'll leave a link to the Bus Up website down below as well if you guys want to check them out. I'm not affiliated at all, but I just love getting my stuff from there. And this whole little section here was all from Bus Up as well. And that is my Lenore, uh, what's that fragrance? Spring Awakening. That's the whole set of the Spring Awakening um, scent, plus a couple of Astonish um, fabric refreshers in the Cotton Fresh scent, Cotton Linen scent. So yes, that's all of my laundry organization. I've been working hard, paring it all down and getting it all organized. I'm really happy with my laundry now. It's a lot more farmhousey, which is I think the, the look that I prefer over the French country. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching. And I will leave a couple of links here on the screen now for some other laundry makeovers and laundry decor videos that I've done over the years, if you want to check those out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.